total energy and internal energy of a system. Consider a container of gas on a table which is 2 meter from ground level and is moved from the one point to another. The total energy of the container is related to its position, motion as well as the energy of its molecules. Here the position and motion are macroscopic features which means they are visible with the naked eye. The position denotes the macroscopic potential energy and motion or velocity relate to its macroscopic kinetic energy. The microscopic features are those which are not visible with our eyes. So generally they are molecular level features. Atoms and molecules have energy associated with them and it is called the internal energy. Then the total energy capital E of the system consists of macroscopic kinetic energy due to motion of the system, macroscopic potential energy due to the position of the system and the internal energy of the system at microscopic level. If other microscopic forms of energy such as magnetic energy, electrical energy, surface tension energy are absent, we can write the expression for total energy of a system as capital E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy plus internal energy. The internal energy is denoted by capital U and it is a microscopic property of the system. It is a measure of the energy stored at the molecular level. The internal energy includes kinetic energy and potential energy at molecular level of the system. The internal energy includes the translational kinetic energy of molecules, rotational kinetic energy of molecules, vibrational kinetic energy of molecules, energy due to electron spin, chemical energy, nuclear energy, potential energy due to intermolecular attraction, etc. The microscopic kinetic energy part of the internal energy is related to the temperature of the system. All solids and liquids have intermolecular force of attraction and therefore they have microscopic potential energy. But we know that the ideal gases have no intermolecular attraction. So its microscopic potential energy is zero. Due to this, the internal energy of a gas is considered to be a function of its temperature alone. U of ideal gas is equal to function of T. This is explicitly stated in Joule's law about internal energy. For a system which has no motion and has no change in its elevation, the change in the macroscopic kinetic energy delta Ke and change in macroscopic potential energy delta Pe becomes zero. As a result, the total energy change delta E of the system becomes the internal energy change delta U, that is delta E is equal to delta U. So by the first law of thermodynamics, we can write Q minus W is equal to delta U. Absolute value of internal energy U is difficult to evaluate, but we can easily find the change in the internal energy delta U of a system during a process. Internal energy is a thermodynamic property of a system. It depends only on the initial and final state of a system during a thermodynamic process, but does not depend on the path followed. So it is a point function. It depends on the mass of the substance, so it is an extensive property. Specific internal energy is the internal energy per unit mass. It is an intensive property and it is denoted by small u. Small u is equal to capital U by m.